Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Boars with the Mike Boars channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking RO systems. And in the event that you don't know what the internal bladder looks like in a tank, we're gonna take an old tank and cut into it and show you what's inside. Let's get started. All right, DIYers outside now and on that table in front of us is a three gallon reverse osmosis storage tank for the water. And we are going to grab some magic markers and make our marking and begin to cut. First thing we will do, I've got a pressure gauge here. We are going to bleed any and all remaining PSI or air pressure from the tank. Last thing we want to do is begin cutting and have that internal bladder explode out at us. That would not be cool. Grab my black Sharpie and I made my marking for the cutout. What I did next was grab some safety glasses, my Dremel tool and my Craftsman bench. And I've got the Dremel 200 with a diamond plated cutting wheel. And I'm not going to bore you with the cutting process. Making progress DIYers, the cut is complete and surprisingly that tank is pretty tough. And what we'll do now is get a closer look inside the tank itself not much on the bottom however there is the weld point which is this point right here and that is why tanks are not replaceable you cannot just undo the weld at this point to install a new bladder you have to replace the entire tank up top right now is the rubber bladder and this part right here is plastic. And as you can see, there is a little separation between the plastic and the rubber bladder. And what I'll do is grab a screwdriver and push the bladder down so we can see it. All right, screwdriver in hand. And as you can see, the inner side right there, there is the bladder. See that? I'll do my best to grab it and pull it down. And I did just that, and that was actually easier than I thought. Just use the screwdriver to push that bladder down. There it is, the rubber internal bladder. And that is where all the water rests on or in when it's inside the actual RO tank. And this is your air pocket right here. And if you remember, what you do is fill that tank with air and standard is between five to seven PSI. There are a couple tanks that are more than that. However, again, standard is five to seven PSI and all of that air is inside this lower chamber of your tank. And when you open up your faucet to allow the water flow out, that air pocket pushes up on the bladder pushing the water out of your tank through your lines and out of your faucet into your glass. And what you can run into is in the event that you do not have enough PSI, say for example, it's down to two PSI, well, you don't have enough pressure or strength to push this heavy bladder full of water up and push that water out of your tank through the lines and out of the faucet. In addition, you could actually have a leak in your bladder, which is allowing water to flow down into the air portion of the tank. And if that happens, well, guess what? You need a new tank because in the event that you have a leaking bladder again water is going to fall down into the air chamber portion of the tank and it is going to fill and say for example you've got two inches of water on the bottom portion of your tank that is definitely going to interfere with the psi or air pressure inside the tank and your bladder will not be pushed up as it is supposed to with an empty air sealed portion of the tank or chamber in di wires Really, that's kind of all there is to the RO tank. Not much to it. Some pretty impressive engineering when the bladder goes in, the plastic top goes on, the valves are installed, and the top and bottom portion of the tank are welded together. Again, as you can see, the weld points right in there. And again, the bladder. And in the event that you are having trouble trying to figure out why your water is not coming out of your tank and out of your faucet into your glass, we have several awesome helpful videos that will hopefully get you back up and running. And what we'll do is we'll post those at the end of this video as well as several videos down below in the comment section as well as the description section. And DIYers, hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And I'm not sure if this will be helpful, but I'm going to push in on the plastic part and show you the internal portion of your bladder. It's where all the water goes. Pretty awesome. Pretty dirty, and that's because of the cutting. Real quick off to the side, here's a better look of the weld. This is the part that I cut away from the tank. 